guys, my name is Tristan Ortiz. Hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day. And thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel, of course, for another very special video. And in today's video, guys, what I have for you is a little bit of a secret unboxing. I have no idea what's in this package. I'm excited to find out what's in this package and definitely get to unbox it and review it and everything like that and tell you guys, of course, about the product and everything like that. So before we get into it, if you guys could leave a like, down below if you guys do enjoy the video that'd be completely awesome if not let me know down in the comment section below why you guys didn't like the video whether it's me or the product or whatever it may be also guys i want to say i am not paid by this company at all to review this product or anything i bought this from my computer myself so do not worry about that guys i know the ftc is a strict new son of a group about it but yeah so with that being said guys also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and turn on post notifications to stay up to date with content like this and gaming content and just whatever. And with that being said, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys. So, we're going to flip these slaps and everything like that. We're just going to throw all this packaging and everything like that. And do my eyes deceive me as to what I got? The Corsair H60 liquid cooler this is kind of awesome and i'm really excited about this for those of you guys that do not know with my personal computer i originally was going to have a cooler master hyper 212 led but because of something where and they didn't tell me that it wasn't am4 compatible even though that certain site said it was it made me think that you know of course well hey it will definitely work well basically for the last couple months i've been using the base ryzen stock cooler um, and everything like that on my computer, which has been awesome. But for those of you guys that try to, are trying to make the jump from high, you know, powered um, air coolers to the high powered liquid coolers, these are definitely the ones that are going to be the best one for you. Corsair, but the H60 has always been at the top. It's always been something where people were telling me go with the H60 or the H80 or the H100i, I think it is. So definitely. This is an awesome thing. I decided to get this for myself for Christmas. I went and actually during um, my video you guys saw yesterday, I was at Micro Center. I went and I bought this, but then I returned it to them because I actually found it on Amazon for way cheaper. And at the time, they didn't know that Micro Center would actually, um, you know, of course, price match. I figured Best Buy is the only store that does that. But yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to open this up. We're going to see what's inside of it. Of course, I'm going to open it up here on my lap rather than on the desk. That way you guys can still see me take everything out of the box and everything like that. And of course, then I don't have to hold my camera as far as things go. So as far as things go, I already took the quick start, uh, quick start guide out of there just because I feel like that was better for me to do that already. So first off, it comes with a nice packaging on top. That's kind of awesome. And then of course, you guys can see all the components in here as possible. So in here, guys, in this package, you guys can actually see a lot of the mounting brackets. And I think uh, one of these is for AMD, and one of the, is, you know, of course, one of these is for AMD. One of these is for Intel, and then of course, this is like the fan pump one or whatever that you put over uh, the actual pump and everything, um, as far as things go. So that's actually pretty cool. That you know, of course, they give you multiple mounting brackets, uh, of course, because this does work for Intel and AMD. Uh, which is kind of awesome. Now the next thing guys is there is a special 120 millimeter I believe this is the SP120 which is the static pressure 120 millimeter fan. Now the cool thing is that of course as you guys can see right here as I just take it out it, it looks really really nice the fan blades look really cool as well. Now I do have um, of course you know the cable protected and everything like that in there. Um, and everything like that and as you guys can see it's just a four pin and everything like that now the difference between static pressure and the air pressure is static pressure actually you plug this into the back of your computer and everything and it will suck air from the outside and blow it back into the computer or you know into the computer towards you know whatever so you know that's actually kind of cool and then of course you stick this on the back of your radiator uh, and everything like that and then that goes there. So with that being said now that we got those out of the way I also want to go over that we do have some screws here in the bag I don't know where the screws are 
I assume that there are screws though in this bag, obviously. Um, but what we're gonna do is pull out what is, of course, the cooler and the radiator and everything like that. Okay, here, here are the screws. You know, of course, these are all the standoff screws and stuff like that that you will end up needing um, for your lovely little thing, you know, as far as stuff goes, I guess. You know, that that's just how the life of the world is. So, we're going to pull this out very carefully. You know, of course, you guys can see this is actually like a really flexible thing, which is awesome. So, again, this is the radiator here, and then this is the pump. One of the cool things, it already has pre-applied thermal paste to it. So, with like mine, I can just wipe mine off, stick this on there, put on the mounting brackets and everything like that, and then all ready to go. So, to show you guys how this essentially works, of course, you know, is I don't know, if, I think it's like this is how it goes on and whatever. Um, so basically, you would take your fan, you know, of course, the fan here, and you would just apply it like this to the back of your thing, um, of course, and that's really just how it goes. And then, of course, I already have another uh, couple of these. I have, I think, the AF120s come in, um, and those are a nice, like, LED to match the red in my um, thing and everything. And then, of course, you know, like, there's this nice plastic peel i think on this and everything like that which i'm trying to find where you peel this off um okay so there there we go you guys can see um sorry if i just jesus um you guys can see it right here i think yep right here and then of course just really really nice and everything like that so i definitely like this now the cool thing about this is that this is actually only about a 40 or 50 dollar product i got it for 49.99 on amazon so we're gonna put this back in the box you know of course i am not touching this uh for a couple of days until me and my dad go and take apart my computer and everything like that and that way you know no issues arise when we are putting together this wonderful beauty of a machine because you know of course this is just what Corsair does. They make wonderful, wonderful products as far as things go um, and everything like that. So we're gonna take the fan out here and then of course, um, just put back everything as it was in the wonderful package, I guess. Here we go. I assume this is how it was put, how everything was put in here, okay. This is going to be a little bit intriguing here, because I don't know what is causing this thing to have, apparently, some issues. Apparently, there's some issues that are being arose with this at the moment, so that that's kind of intriguing. But yeah, so we're going to leave this out of the box for right now, but as far as things go, guys, um, yeah, so... With the box now empty and everything like that, I figured let's go over the stats and stuff like that for you guys. So, the cool thing is, again, this works for anything, I believe, on the Ryzen side through, um, as you guys can see here, it goes through AM2, AM3, AM4, FM1, and F2. Now, if you guys are Intel users, um, it uses the LGA. 1150, 1155, 1156, 1366, and the 2011. There's also some stats, as you guys can see, kind of like right there and everything uh, like that, which is kind of really cool and everything like that. So, you know, of course, it's a simplistic high-performance liquid CPU cooler uh, and everything like that. So I'm going to leave the links to Amazon, um, UK, US, and Canadian down in the description below for you guys to do it. If you guys have a Corsair, you know, um, cooler or any product like that, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Of course, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Chris for today, so leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Turn on post notifications, and I will see all of you guys in the next one.